So the president of Nintendo, Reggie, was recently uh. interviewed where he talked about the NES Classic Edition. Finally, coming from the source, they announced Nintendo has shipped 2.3 million NES Classic Editions worldwide since November. And the console was only attended as a product for last holiday. So Reggie did come out, only a product for last holiday. What did I say? That was their intention. He didn't expect you fuckers to buy it. It's your fault. It's your fault. But look, he even said he did us a favor. They added shipments <laughs> and extended the product for as long as we could to meet more of that consumer demand. Well, thank you, Reggie, for yeah. extending. Oh, I thought you were going to say thank you, Daddy. I figured that yeah. would be the, the proper response. Yeah. It, was, it was only for the holiday, but oh, there's so much demand. Over 2 million wanted the $60 machine with 60, which Rich just said would have been his number one remaster if it was fucking, if people could get it. But they said, we added more shipments and extended it for us because the demand was so high. We only intended for the holiday, so we extended it through April. So he apologizes for understanding the frustration of us not being able to find a console. So he apologizes, understands the frustration. But he's not going to do anything to fix it. No. Just, hey, I understand. No, not at all. And this is a I will hit a bitch, but I'll shake the fuck out of one of them. That's what he's trying to say. Does Wayne Brady need a smack a bitch? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> that was Chris Rock, but I like the reference. Chris Rock. No, I was doing Chris Rock. Oh, doing the my, bad. Show, oh so. my bad. Oh, my bad. Well, they did team up a comedy show like a few we weeks ago. We don't talk about that. Oh, okay. That's part of the Black Illuminati. We don't talk oh. about that. Oh. All right. So this is oh, an well, actual... Africa. So this is an actual quote from Reggie explaining... This is a joke for Neil Brennan. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Neil Brennan is Dave Chappelle's writing partner that got oh. left in the lurch when Dave left his show. Okay. Oh. Anyways. So this is a quote from Reggie talking about the reason why they discontinued. From our perspective... It's important to recognize where our future is and the key areas that we need to drive. We've got a lot going on right now, and we don't have unlimited resources. Got a lot going on. Sounds like you were talking to Jeff Keighley. Well. <laughs> got a lot going on. We don't have that's unlimited where resources. Follow up with a question. A lot going on. A lot going on. With Again, the- with the Nintendo Switch launching a console, so let's put our resources. And spend a lot of money shipping them on a plane to get to the U.S. So that's coming from the source, coming from Reggie. And the one thing that really upsets me is Nintendo never said, initially said, that it was a limited time product. They showed the trailer in July, said launch November. But not once did they fucking say that there's a limited time product because I think that's what caused more of the frustration. That caused me to be really angry. Because I was going to, like, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait for the demand once they come out in the summer. I'm not even going to. And then they say, oh, it's discontinued. And then they say, oh, it's limited time. It was a product for the holiday, which Rich has been saying since day one. Just a cash grab. Get it out there. I'm sorry I'm right, but I knew what they were doing. Because we didn't have, they didn't have shit. For the, they had Pokemon for the 3D. Again, Pokemon sold extremely well. But for the console side, we don't have shit. Let's bring out this NES limited they only shipped 2.3 million since november no if this was xbox and i said oh i've got halo and then i've got halo wars next year you'd go what else do you have for me that's nintendo's whole business model for a decade has basically i've got mario and then maybe i'll throw you some zelda or maybe I'll throw you some Metroid, or maybe I'll throw you some Star Fox, or maybe I'll throw you Mario Kart, or Smash Brothers. That's it. It's it's Mario is a third of their business model, the rest is their other three or four IPs, and then, yeah, we'll get some shovelware, some Barbie horse adventure, and, and Cooking Mama, and shit like that, and you'll be good, right? You'll Nintendo. be good. dogs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Donkey Konga. Let's... Oh, oh you want to pay another $80 oh, for a yeah. fucking peripheral? <laughs> oh, but, but Guitar Hero is a waste of your time and money. No, we Music. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, God, that was a Probably fun. one of the biggest fuck-ups Bomb. of Nintendo. Bomb. And how much time it took off their conference. Oh, my God. I, I felt bad for myself of being a Nintendo fan. When I watched that, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are they <laughs> doing right that now? That dude on the drum. Yeah, he's like, and, and it's not even syncing correctly. I was like, oh, God, just turn it off. Just yeah. stop it. Just walk away and say, there's, we're working on it. <laughs> there was a few bad years of Nintendo right there. Which is probably why they're not doing E3 performances <laughs> anymore. 
Yeah. Because now like, they can guarantee that whoever the gets in there, they're gonna, control the, <laughs> they're gonna control the footage. Everything else is just people anecdotal. Oh, here's what happened in the press conference. There's no footage. So now. I got the news, so I posted it on Facebook, actually. I posted one of our videos on, on Facebook about the Nintendo being discontinued, the segment that we did, and someone actually posted a comment saying, posted on Sunday, it was uh, two Sundays, then someone posted a comment saying, Best Buy is getting the last shipment of NES Classic. I had no idea about it. Someone put a comment, a reply. Oh, I thought you knew. I had no IGN idea. IGN had put out a report that was. It was after, that stuff. Yeah. though, right? Wasn't it the day? It was the. No, day I remember I had seen that that same weekend, but I thought you already freaking knew because oh. you were on top of all this. They usually tell me when they're breaking news. Yeah. No, I so I didn't know until someone had to thank them, and I did yeah. very much to let me know. As in, because I was pissed. I'm like, if I don't get one of these, and I actually two people actually two of my friends actually offered to actually like, hey, I have an extra one. Well, way to rub that in. Yeah, what does that tell you? Right. And another one, like, if I can convince my son, which was funny. No, but what I, I does that tell you? That's either someone is a very big fan of you, which I completely understand, or they were basically trying to manipulate the market as well, which is part of why this, this whole back channel, this underground that they're doing on selling Nintendo products, that's why it's bad. I would have paid more than market. I would have paid more than 60 And you shouldn't have to because it's already overpriced. For it. So it's only because you want it that bad. So thank you for those Nintendo's individuals. A you you've been teased into paying for it, thinking she'll be your girlfriend, but she won't. So thank you for those individuals who did post and offered the console. But again, I'm like, thank you. I'm going to Best Buy. I, it was Sunday evening, and again, it was Monday morning. So I did some research. I called Best Buy at a confirm because I wasn't going to wait in line, and I thought for about 20 minutes, do I really want to do this? I have to work at 9 a.m. I have to work at 9. I was doing a tour. And so I had to make sure, because I know Best Buy opens at 10. So I had to confirm and make sure when are the tickets being handed out. So they said 8 a.m. is when the tickets. I'm like, there's a chance. I'll get dressed in the car. So I brought my clothes with me, because I'm from Best Buy. I have to go straight to work. So I brought my clothes with me. <laughs> Can I just mention how great this is for that Forbes <laughs> five-star standard? The plan was... I was going to wake up at 2.30, so I was going to get... It was a good thing. Um, was it after the... I think we had a rotation, so I didn't get very much sleep. Yeah, the night before. Yeah, the night before we had a rotation, so we have a, a get-together, and I only got like four hours of sleep that night. So Basically I'm, drinking till 6 in the morning. That, that's exactly. Until 6 a.m. You have to clarify rotation, because most there people don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. I'm just Some saying it's a get-together. it's questionable with oh. this group, so I, I want to clarify. <laughs> just because rotation is yeah. circular doesn't mean any of that so, kind of... Jerky behavior was going on. So. <laughs> we had to get together until 6, so I woke up at 10, so it got a little less than 4 hours. So I was going to go to bed early that Sunday. So I went to bed early, set my alarm for 2.30, so I can get ready, shave, get in line at 4 a.m. at Best Buy. So that was the game plan. And I got in line at 4.01. Pretty proud. And then Sarah, uh, my fiance, I sent her a text. I'm waking up. She thought I was waking up at 4 a.m., I'm like, no, I'm getting in line at four and I have to be ready. So go to work. I can't come home and shave. So I got in line. I brought my Nintendo Switch with me, which someone says no one will ever take it out of the dock and take it out. That was the first time though, right? Was it you the first took time? your Switch with you? Yeah. I took my Switch with me. So I got in line at 4 a.m. Four hours before the tickets are being handed out. I was seventh in line. And no one knows how many fucking NES classics they're going to have. No one has any idea. So got in line at four. I'm like, no regrets. No regrets. I'm, I'm going to hold out. <laughs> Grown man <laughs> getting married this weekend. <laughs> He's happy to buy technology that's 25 years old. That's an accelerated price. And he almost missed work and missed sleep. And not guaranteed that I'm getting it. Not get, I don't know. So I'm going to wait in line. It's a fun story. I just, it's not worth it. That's all I'm saying. So I got in line at four. I brought my Switch. So I played Zelda for about an hour and then made some friends. We played uh, Legend of Zelda Triforce Warriors. It was a DS. It's a, uh, it was a three player Zelda game. It's doing puzzles. So I played. So it wasn't on the Switch? It was, no, it was on, on the 3DS. You had your Switch with you. What, what happened? They didn't have Switches too? 
And they didn't have Switch. No, no. The, the guy actually is that a some dude actually asked the the guy. He's like, is that a Switch? He's like, yeah, it's smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> he said that. <laughs> and he's some professional player for Overwatch. So he's all telling me oh, his news. Yeah, cool. he's yeah he's a professional. He's like, first time seeing a Switch. I that that thing looks small. Like that's what Tracer said. Yeah. I mean, that's a joke for the community. No, yeah. Because she's a lesbian. So stay in line. So 8 a.m. comes around. So this is the chance. I'm seventh in line. And I would say there's probably 50 deep by the time it was 8, 8 a.m. So, so there's about 50 people in line at Best Buy. So I hand out tickets. Right when the guy came out, the employee came out, I saw his stack. I'm like, I got it. I got it. I was number seven. And I got I think they had 20 to 25. Oh. Oh. I would probably say probably 20. But I got seven and still the stack you was... You might so- want to tell him, though. That's not the end of the story. Yes. No, no. There's still more to it. Because there's a catch that I had no- I didn't know of. So, again, I have to work at nine. I work at nine. I got my ticket at eight. And now he was saying, you have to pick it up within three hours after opening or my ticket expires. And it will be available to the public. And that I didn't know that I was going to get my ticket after work. I'll come by and get my NES Classic. And now he is saying it's 8 a.m. The sword one's at 10, so I have to pick it up by 1 p.m. So I waited four hours for this motherfucker. I got my ticket. I got my Willy Wonka golden ticket. <laughs> That's how I felt. It was my Willy Wonka golden ticket. Did you tell ticket. him that you wanted it now, Daddy? Is that, is that where you said that? And then now it's like three hours. I'm like, I was not intending... For that, I had a tour. I had to do at work. And you didn't intend to have to come back? Yeah, I didn't <laughs> intend to come back for it. I'm like, this is not fucking happening. The very last shipment ever. I got my ticket. I might not be able to get it. I'm like, all right. So I have to ask my boss if on my lunch break, I can drive back to Best Buy, pick up my Aeneas Classic, and, and drive back. An executive. So we had a lunch with an executive, our team. <laughs> Wanted to thank them for their hard work, their diligence, and their team spirit. <laughs> how all they do is think about how to better the team's dynamic. Oh, by the way, deuces, I got to go pick up some shit. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Yeah, send me some fries. So just being in that room, explain to my boss what ticket I have. And what I need to pick up at he's lunch. He's known you. He's known you for months. So she, she, she. okay. Yeah. So she's aware. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> she knows who I am. And then she's like, "Wow, that's pretty cool." The like, Indian's class. Like, oh, I think my husband has that. It's like, no, no, not this. I had the original, but not this Indian's classic. <laughs> Doing lunch, and now and then I we I had a tour, so we had a tour. So I left work at noon. Because the, the tour, I even had to leave early, the tour. And my team, <laughs> thank you. work and the store are on opposite ends yes. of the valley. Opposite ends of Las Vegas. <laughs> so thank you, team, for taking the rest of those orders because I had to leave early. Because we were doing, in a room, the tour went on. On behalf of all your coworkers, yes. fuck you very much, Steve. No. So thank you. <laughs> so I left at noon. Now I have one hour to get this Indian's Classic or it is gone. And I would have started crying if there was a car accident or anything that happened. Not because anybody got injured or no. the was damaged. <laughs> no, because I didn't get my this, classic. <laughs> this crappy $60 hunk of plastic that he pretty much owns all that shit anyways. It just doesn't look as good on his HTT. Or save. Blessed. On them, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was good. <laughs> yeah. So this entire drive to Best Buy, I was sweating. I am very blessed. <laughs> so I was sweating the entire drive saying I need to get there by one. I need to get there by one. I cannot be late. I did not camp out four hours at Best Buy. I just want to say. For nothing. Just so everybody knows. I know everybody has these ideas in their minds about what living in Las Vegas is like. <clears throat> Those ideas aren't true, but this isn't normal either. This is the other extreme. <laughs> Most people fall in the middle. There's people have gambling problems, you know, promiscuous people, people moving in and out of the valley. 
they're usually not like you see in the movies, and they're usually not obsessed with collecting nostalgia to the point where they risk their careers. <laughs> but hey, I just <laughs> helpful, helpful notice for those from yeah. the tourism board. Yeah, I'm now unemployed. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to uh, hire, um, I am available. But so I got at Best Buy around twelve thirty-five. Got my tickets, gave it to them. <laughs> and they gave him an empty box. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gone. An empty box of nothing. It was a <laughs> display case. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my NES Classic Edition console. Wow, it was a pain in the ass. That was a very stressful day. I made it back in time. So I made it in my hour break. I made it back to Best Buy and back. Got an extra controller. That would have been a wonderful honeymoon if he got fired. Yeah, that's right. thing, right? <laughs> but NES Classic Edition, wow. I would not be getting married this weekend if that happened. I would <laughs> you wouldn't be breathing this <laughs> weekend if that happened. <laughs> we all know Sarah, wonderful woman, and she'd be completely justified. Yes. I'm going to testify on her behalf at the trial. <laughs> <laughs> that you deserved it. So I got the very last shipment, and they had signs when I got into Best Buy at 1235. That were all sold out of NES Classic, and that actually scared the shit out of me. I forgot to add that part. When I walk, I got, <gasps> I thought that they gave my NES Classic away. Like, write the sign, right when you walk in. in no NES Classic editions available were I all sold to out. I tell you, it's Eastern Standard yeah. Time, not yeah. Pacific. Yeah, <laughs> that's two hours. I was reading my sheet, like, it says three, it opened at ten. I don't know. So what are you going to do? <laughs> Three hours. I'll call my lawyer right yeah. now. I didn't know it was three hours since I got the ticket. It was 11 a.m. But they said we're all sold out. And it specifically said that we're no longer getting any shipments ever because Nintendo discontinued the product. Was ever just normal type or was it like ever? And it's like all those H's at the end, exclamation. <laughs> Forever, ever. Forever, ever. <laughs> Sign the Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> but... Like, I always get what I want. Wow. And I got my NES Classic. And Sarah and I played for about four hours Friday night. The controller work? That's fine. And they're never playing ever again. <laughs> and we're done. Yeah, we're done. I, I, I already... It's already boxed up in the closet. That's the party, and then that's it. It's done. Yeah, it's done. yeah after, after Thursday, yeah. Don't we'll... tell him. You, you already... You gave him the whole scenario when he was a kid. How does that whole thing go down? Yeah, to, yeah I'm just going to say, he's going to pull it out. Hey, let's play some NES Classic. And the kid will play it, and he's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. This is terrible. Where are the, where's the VR, and where's the yeah. new graphics? And VR 3.0. point maybe hoverboards in this. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus! Yeah. Or no, I love in Back to the Future in the second one. Like, oh, you have to use your hands? Yeah. In, yeah. in the 80s? Like, this, this game sucks. You have to yeah. use your hands? Like, Lame. I like what he's like, oh. I thought it was a pretty it's good It's like game. Wild Gungan, right? <laughs> yeah. He's playing, yeah, yeah. shooting <laughs> <laughs> that's how it's going to be seven years from now with my kids but that's one of the reasons why I camped out so I can tell my son and daughter the story of their father their cool father camping out four hours at best by making friends sweating almost getting fired no my boss was amazing she was very understandable I made it back in the hour so the hour break <laughs> So very understanding, but I still, I still. No, for me, for, like I for, get chopped, for so. my no, for my morals again. I, my job wasn't on the line, but again, it's a better story if it is. Oh, okay, and it right. should be because this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm understanding. <laughs> I'd still sit there going, "Are you? Yeah, are you high?" <laughs> that your employee comes to you like, "Go, leave." Just a piss test when you get back. Just <laughs> <laughs> I have to take a drug test when you get back and. Uh, but I got it. Um, but again, it does not make it right of what we have to do. And again, the other people who waited in line. Again, there's only 20, around 20 of them for the very last shipment. And those are the people that, like you, you didn't know. So they found out last minute, went out of their way to try to accommodate everything on a Monday morning. Monday morning. To fit everything into their schedule. Now, Vegas is in the same thing because we're kind of a 24-7 kind of atmosphere with jobs. But there are plenty of people in the middle of Ohio that were going through the same thing Monday morning yeah. that they are 9-to-5ers 
And they probably, there is somebody out there that has your story where I didn't realize they only have three hours and the store doesn't open for another two. What the fuck am I going to do? And they risk losing their job to go get it or they can't go. And then hey, somebody walked in there at one in the afternoon and, oh, shit, I'm the lucky number 100. I, I guess I win. No, there is a story that I actually read on someone after Monday I actually posted it. He's like, I never wait for console. But I'm like, I heard it's the last shipment. So I got in line. And he was the last, like, not the person in front of him was the last person to get a ticket. Yeah. I think he said he, he was like, like number 26 and they were 25. No, I think he was like number 10 or 11. Like, they had even less at where he went. I think he said he was number 11 or something. He was, he was in the low teens. I think he was in 10 or 11. And he's like, this is the last time I'm ever waiting in line for a product. And he's like, I never do. But this in his classic is the last, you know, C. And like, it never was again. You did that. I've never waited in line for a fucking product. I've always had the, the, the you know, the privilege to pre-order, you know. Oh. But other than that, there's PS2 no... PS2 is last If you could yeah. pre-order, which you couldn't... No, I had right. PS2. I was in Wyoming, and it was... Walmart was the only place that was getting shipments on day one. They didn't have a pre-order program, and it was one of those Black Friday kind of things where everybody's standing at the door, everybody's... <clears throat> completely happy but as soon as that guy opens the door he does the like from a distance like he's trying to turn it like i hope the latch hits and i'm gonna dive to the side because they did they they pushed the doors now didn't break the frame because they have those those doors that swing out if you need to to accommodate like a oversized load mm -hmm. but yeah bent the doors to the side so they would normally go like this no pushed them aside but they have that hinge and then the people that were running saw one fist fight while i was checking out because they made us check out in, in electronics, they wouldn't because they wouldn't open registers at the front because they weren't supposed to be open. Well, see, yeah. that's the reason why I can't wait for products online and not get one. I'd probably hurt somebody. No. No, everybody is fun. It was like it was like tailgating, but then as soon as the store opened, it was you know, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Everybody's yeah. fighting over the last no jug of gas. Just not it my was style. ridiculous. And and luckily for me, I'm the colored one, so I'd be throwing Joe first. <laughs> Gonna risk it. Jesus. <laughs> what? Well, be honest. I can't. I can't say anything. Right. <laughs> Not allowed. No. So this one console, as in, um, so I had everything pre-ordered except the Nintendo Wii. So when I found out about the Wii, GameStop was taking pre-orders. I got in line. I was only in line about a half hour early, and they had thirty-two of them. And then I think I was like number forty. So I didn't get it. So I'm like no pre-orders. So I actually camped out. 23 hours for a Nintendo Wii. Oh, 23 hours. I got in line at 1 a.m. for a midnight launch. And I was... They had 54 of them. I believe it was Fred Meyer in the Northwest. It's a store for Fred Meyer. They had 54 of them. We were... It was a friend and I from, from college. We were 8 and 9 in line. 23 hours... In advance, we were eight and nine in line. So other people were there, and it was fucking cold. This was like in November in Oregon. No. Fucking cold. No. Same thing I did in Best Buy in fucking December trying to get it. Fucking cold. Again, 23 hours for fucking Nintendo Wii. It was worth it. Nintendo, thank you for giving me such great gaming experiences. 23 hours for Nintendo Wii, four hours for NES Classic. But everything else I had reserved. Everything else I had pre-ordered so i just went at midnight launch whatever to get but those two the only times i had to camp out again if i didn't get if i camped out four hours and did that for nothing i, I don't know what would have happened that's my point how many people had that experience? yeah no exactly and so transitioning the your gamer a rumor said they claim that SNES Classic will be released in time for this Christmas, 2017, and his development is underway. And Eurogamer, again, they're a trustworthy source. They usually came out. They came out with Nintendo Switch. They're actually the first ones that actually release the specs and what it's going to look like for the Switch before it was official. Um, so they do have some inside information. So they do say in, a Super NES is in development for this holiday. Nintendo fucking better learn their lesson. They better be in fucking development store making these things fucking right now. But that doesn't make sense if they are based off Reggie's saying we have we don't have unlimited resources. 
So if you're actually doing that right now... And we can't get switches in the stores, so yeah. why would you take some of the production lines down yeah. to print For these when they had to, take, they had to take the classic off the market? Yeah. They couldn't do another run of those. So I'm telling you, it's the same thing. And Something's a little fishy going here's on. What, here's what I would warn. I don't want to be right, but I'm seeing the same pattern, and I'm also saying... I'm going to address what you brought up. They're not going to tell you it's limited. They're yeah. going to say, yeah. well, you know, it's a seasonal item. That might be the best you get, but they're not going to give you numbers. You I say, well, are we going to get 2 million? Are we going to get 3 million, Reggie? Or any Nintendo spokesperson? They won't address that until we get to those next year, next fiscal year, so April, when he does some kind of statement. He goes, oh, it was a big success for the holidays. And, of course, on the back of our Switch release, and eh, that's what it's going to be because that's how they talk to Wall Street, and that's all they care about. They don't care yeah. about their customers. They don't care about the industry. They care about their bottom line. And if you don't want to, to get in line and give them their money and make it easy on them, then you can go fuck yourself, which that's the camp I'm in. You almost were there, but you got your way, so you're still okay. But what I had to go through, like, no one should have to go through that to get this type of machine. And it's not just Nintendo that does that. It's yeah. not just gaming where that kind of stuff happens. But this is a good example of Nintendo specifically. I, I brought this up before. They're a family company. They're, they're four kids. Sony, you can say, that's hardcore. Microsoft, Xbox, that's that's hardcore gamers. Those are... Technically, those are people that they have discerning minds. When you got a four-year-old that wants a Switch because pretty colors, and they have to see this is the way the world works, I don't think you understand what you're going through, what you're doing. This is It's ridiculous to run a business like that. It's not good for them financially, and it's not good for their reputation. It's not good for the experience. A way to piss off your, your customers. And that's the other thing. Very yeah. Money is a very great motivator. For a $60 fucking product and you pissed off your Money is a great motivator. It's a great tool to, to judge successes and, and use those analytics. But at the end of the day, there is something to be said for reputation. There's a reason why we call tissue paper Kleenex is because that company hasn't had major fucking problems. They, they've innovated enough that they were relevant and they've kept it cheap enough that it became a standby where now you just say hey hand me a kleenex whether it's the the on-brand or the off-brand tissue paper because it became synonymous with quality that's all it is well nintendo used to be that they're not anymore now it's nintendo's this or that and but it's a kid's item and they're hurting kids last five years nintendo's been a footnote in in the gaming industry. And they shouldn't be, and it's of their own doing. Yeah, the Wii U, There's no setback last like year what the Wii happened with Atari or anything like that. It's of their own making. Yeah. So with the Super NES, they, they even if you talk about the NES Classic, like it's going to bring a sour taste in a lot of people. Even if you just mention, they need, they need to just forget yeah, because a lot of people yeah, are going to be like, I'm not going to stand in fucking line for it. Because people but, are fucking pissed But before you this. knew about this, this last shipment... And before you actually got your way, you were very pissed about the whole thing. Yeah. And you, but you said, but if they release the, the SNES Classic, I'll be back on board. So all was well and good because of that nostalgia pop. And that's my thing is you're you're missing that they're they're the ones who are hurting you. This time you ended up not hurt, but you got fucked around. I was close. Yeah, you I got know. fucked with. Yeah, and you witnessed other people get fucked with. A lot that of people got fucked. Off. More people got fucked than than but didn't, which should not happen. That, just. Overall, that's why I complain about the shit I do. I know I'm a, I'm a fucking cynical asshole. I can be overbearing. I certainly talk too much. But that's why. is because I don't see these trends in just Nintendo and the NES Classic. This is their company. This is parts of the industry. This is parts of the world. That's why I get offended at things. And it doesn't have to be that way. We're all... We all can respect each other. We all can figure out better ways to do things. Or we all can go, well, that's just the way it is. What am I going to do about it? And it doesn't matter until it affects me. That's fucking bullshit. That's cowardly. Yeah. So they just need to watch how they word the Super NES class. If they are making it, how they're doing it again. How about this? You earned two billion dollars profit from a game that you actually didn't have any say in. You just own a, a percentage of the IP. Your value of your company because of the stock going up because you were associated with Pokemon Go raised over two billion dollars in company assets and that that stock. Why don't you take some of that fucking money that you never intended to get and 
open up a new factory or contract with somebody and print some more. Whether it's the NES Classic or the SNES Classic or, or more switches. Why don't you do something to help your business as opposed to putting it in your back pocket, never doing anything with it, and then going, well, you got to understand, we got to make as much money as we can. You're not a fucking person that has bills to pay. You're a fucking entity. You're a group of people. The team should get together and decide what's good for the whole, not what's good for them. Nintendo is, there's not a Mr. Nintendo. I know there's people that we kind of think of like that. But there's no guy whose last name is Nintendo. I don't give a fuck if he can feed his family because he doesn't exist. Get over it. It's just a brand. Tell us how you really feel. I like it's, it. That, that came from much. the heart. That, 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 comes, that billion, came from the heart. Two billion dollars? That's ridiculous. You have two in billion dollars. In the treasure chest. They have two billion dollars in their back pocket that they... Can we not all agree? Pokemon Go. It was not They theirs. didn't own it. No. And that was after the stock jumped up 20 billion dollars and then the market corrected when everybody goes, you know they didn't actually make that. They don't actually get some of that. And everybody went, oh shit, our bad. But still, yeah. at the end of the day, they were up over two billion dollars of worth because of their association with what everybody thought was going to be the next major your phone app and they kept that money what'd they do with it reinvest it into building up your core business that's what you would do if you won the lottery how do you keep that money do you do you blow it all on coke and whores or do you buy assets you you pay for family and friends to go to college <laughs> coke and whores where are we going <laughs> people do that what are they doing they're they're they basically they won the that's lottery. how we roll in vegas they no they coke won and whores. no they won the lottery Boats they and spent hose. it on stupid shit as opposed to actual assets that they can maintain generation after generation. They didn't invest in their future. They didn't open businesses. They didn't send their kids to college. All they did was go, <laughs> fuck, we can have a party, right? Yeah. And then two years later, they go, fuck, I won Powerball and I got nothing. Yeah. And instead of putting that money and having to rebuild and bring in more money, then th that that's a good point. Like You have this money, utilize it well to make more money. And they're not doing that. It's just not happening. And, I, and, I and then all they do is go, now. oh, it's me. We can't afford more factories. Yeah. That's jobs. Everybody in this, especially at the current political climate, everybody goes, we need more jobs. Well, guess what? They need them in every fucking country. So whether you open up manufacturing here or not, if they were making more switches, making more NES or SNES classics, that's going to benefit this country and the amount of jobs. Maybe not directly, but it's going to help the industry. Gonna raise it up. If, if one extra person gets a job, isn't that forward momentum that we can all believe in? Get behind. So why are we not advocating this? They're sitting on it and, and waiting to invest it in who knows what. More motion controls. And that's how you connect the dots from starting with the NES Classic and leading to Coke that and was, That was all Nintendo shit. I, I, it was just a metaphor. That's how you get the two together. Don't, don't overthink it. It's a metaphor. Because <laughs> it was the lottery metaphor. They won the lottery. They didn't even know that they bought a fucking ticket. I won the lottery. Literally, because he had a ticket. Yes. Now, my Willy Wonka it. going to intend. Now you could sell this for like $300, and then you can go buy a bunch of SNES classics, get prepared, and make more money, and that's how you revenue. <laughs> and that's kind of the system that they're setting up. Yeah. There's Boom. A reason. Bullshit. Yeah. Listen, it Boom. was nice of your friends to try to help you out, but they're at least one of those people, it sounds like bought multiples because they thought that they were going to make money but they like you more than they were greedy so they were going to do you a favor but otherwise it I'm would have nice been one guy. of those I'm hey, a nice I, guy. I paid 60 but for 200 it can be yours yeah. I would have paid 200 that's for a it. fucked up no. thing that you shouldn't be like that why do you want to be a scalper no. I'm the scalpy <laughs> next time okay, I have no, something have I know who to behavior. sell it to no, exactly. <laughs> no. but with the SNES Classic again it was a rumor has not been confirmed if they do make it, I think that's going to have a higher demand than the NES Classic. Do you guys yeah. think so? Yeah. And if they do a N64 Classic, it'll have more than the SNES. Yeah, because it'll as probably, we go on, more generations. I would say the GameCube it would drop a little bit, and they don't really need to because that was already disc-based. But yeah. through yeah, I think they would go up to th through the 64. Yeah. yeah, and that makes the most sense. But the SNES Classic again. They need to learn is going to have a higher demand than this little machine, which I love. Do you think they will? By you, the way, do you think they will? You hope they will. Knowing what you know, hearing the arguments Mo and I have made, do you no. think that they will? Okay. Because That's I want to know. they have they haven't proven. They've had issues with the Nintendo Switch. They've had issues with the NES Classic. No, we've we've had issues. They think this is business as usual. In fact. 
He was doing you a favor by doing that last run that you, yeah. you benefited. Thank from. you, Reggie, for doing that favor for yeah, me. You're, As we're you're doing this for the fans. Thank doing you. this for the fans. We added more shipments. No, just Nintendo. Like, there's, there's supply. Like, for the Amiibos, I've been fucked. The Switch has been fucked. And yet, classic available in Japan. Have been fucked. Because they do, are not shipping the shit over here. They're controlling the Wii the U, I don't count because that sold like shit. Because it was a badly designed system. Yes. Badly thought so out. So I'm not too counting soon. that, but those things that were a hot item with a big high demand. SNES is going to have a high demand. Again, I'm not expecting everyone will be able to get it on day one. But I'm not expecting this bullshit for six months and getting. 10 here, it wasn't, it wasn't 12 even six there. months. And remember, again, that wasn't their plan. Their plan was Christmas. Holiday, yeah. November, December, and by the time you got to Valentine's Day, you'd never hear from it again. And then they, they heard the, the outcry, which was basically, we can make more money. And then they said, okay, we'll print some more. Because we, we can churn these out faster than we can churn out a Switch. And we'll, we'll make how many... Tens of millions off of those sales. And boom. There you go. But they left a lot of money on the table with this machine. So. Yeah, but they didn't want to be – they don't have to worry about these things getting discounted. It's nice to be able as a manufacturer to have your product on eBay and it's marked up four to ten times what it was originally sold at because you know that it's valuable. Those guys that made some of those hard-to-find old uh, – N64 games or Game Boy Color games and stuff, and the game sold for 30 and now, even today, if you went and bought it secondhand at GameStop, this is $85 or, oh, it's $300 for, for some weird fucking game you never even heard of, but they have the the cartridge and the stickers are still intact. They've turned it into the, the, the collector's market in, in comic books, and we all saw what happened there. They got too greedy, and it almost ruined that entire industry. Marvel Comics went bankrupt. That's why you can't have all those characters in all the, the movies is because they had to sell off the rights so that the company wouldn't completely be gone. So Sony book bought Spider-Man and Fox bought the X-Men and Fantastic Four and nobody wanted to buy Captain America and Iron Man. And it wasn't until those movies that they got solvent and now Disney bought them. But it was... Look at what they've, they've left. And that's what Nintendo could do because what have I said? What's the number one asset that Nintendo has? Intellectual property. Because everybody wants Mario. Even me, as hateful as I am towards Nintendo, I will tell you right now, Mario Kart 8 is a great game. Mario Odyssey is going to be a great game, too. But it's not enough to sell. It's machine. not, and that's my entire No, and, and that's why Stop they need doing, to show But if, if, if Nintendo wasn't making a, a console, but they were releasing two marquee titles a year, like they have been, but they were available on Xbox, PC, and PlayStation, they would be the number one developer in the world. Instead, what are they trying to do? Sell you nostalgia, and hopefully your kids will respect it enough to justify where you risked your job. <laughs> so that was my story of how I was able to find and catch my video game unicorn, which I seriously didn't believe this thing fucking existed. Do I fucking actually I had to see it for myself? So that's my story, and this is our thought and feelings of how Nintendo handled handled the entire NES Classic Edition clusterfuck abomination. Of the entire six months of how they handled and hopefully they learn when the super nes is that something that you guys would be interested in having the super nes without having to fucking do this bullshit camp out if you can go in pick it up snes for a hundred bucks would you guys do that mo uh, i wanted an nes classic i would do it for super nintendo but i'm not gonna wait in line correct as in I, I can actually it. just walk in a GameStop, yeah, pick not, it up i'm not gonna do all this bullshit that you went through no that's not my style i don't but it'd be something you'd be I don't interested deal in. in fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be something you'd be interested in. Yeah, yeah. And definitely. Rich, would it be something you'd be interested in? Without absolutely, having to go through the bullshit. Absolutely, but if it releases in November 2017, I, if I could find it in May or June of 2018, yeah. I would think it was worth it. Now, $100, I can afford it, but I don't think it would be worth it. But is it something I would probably justify in my own mind? Possibly. But it is one of those, they get enough of an uphill battle with me that I might sit there and go, you know what? I don't really play my old SNES games anyways. I'm a busy guy. I don't necessarily have time. I know, I backlogs. No, so, backlogs already. Uh, Do you think that would be the price that they did 60 for NES? That's what my prediction would be, 99.99. Depends on how many titles are in there. Yeah. A lot of that is the licensing, because you're having to pay to, to get those third-party titles on there. Yeah, I, I would 
I don't know. I could see them sticking with sixty again. I don't know. Sixty makes sense to me. It's just yeah. it's buying a game. Yeah. That makes sense. That's why I said, <clears throat> if you went to Best Buy and you had your hands full, you bought a Switch and you bought a couple of games, a, a pack of two Joy Cons because you got a couple of kids or you know they're gonna lose them or you just want backups just in case. You buy a couple of accessories, charging kits, whatever, and then you're walking out and you see on the end cap there where the the Isle of Registers are, you see just stacks and stacks of these at the end. Four shelves high, at least three deep. You can have two or three facings on the end cap, and you go, oh my God, they got, you know, they got upwards of 50 that are sitting right here, and it's full, and I'm seeing people holding them, and they're just restocking it, because is that, then I know that you're worth it. That's what That's it, what we thought this it should have been. Yeah. That's what it should have been. This it should been. be like me going into a 7-Eleven and buying a candy bar. I never go in there and go, oh, I wonder if they'll have Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I don't know if I can find them. They're so hard to come by. Oh, well, we got one left, but guess what? It's going to cost you $800. No, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I actually might even put this on this as one of the biggest fuck-ups in video game history of how this entire situation was handled. About angering your customer fan base. No, but this is what I'm saying. They've been doing this. The Wii is a perfect example. And let's be honest. If the Wii U had been popular, they didn't have the, the ability to, to meet that demand either. So again, we talked about the, the core base of that $13.5 million. They didn't have enough units for fucking day one purchases for that either. That's why for the first couple of months it seemed like it could be successful. Yeah. Because you you underperformed on your production schedule. And That's then, how you handle things and you've done it for, for a decade now. It's fucking ridiculous. And then the yeah. games just dropped and then yep. it was nothing. It was done. But, but please let us know in the comments below what your story is of how... Or how you tried to get an NES Classic Edition. And if you're the unlucky one to have that person in front of you, get the last Yeah, if you're number 11, ticket. my heart goes out. Yeah. Right. Yes. That's some, fucking, that's some bullshit. Some fuckery, like you said. Major fuckery.